Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Pisces. This is going to be for the first half of your April from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. We are going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of your month. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message did it resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the, are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, if you guys didn't know, I am doing another giveaway where this time I'm giving two free 30-minute personal readings with me on Zoom. If you guys are interested in that giveaway, check out the details on how to enter. I did post out I did post that in the community tab on my YouTube page. I will announce the winners on April 12th, all right? So tell me about Pisces. Energy check-in for Pisces. Over energies for Pisces for April. The first half of their April from the 1st to 15th. What are surrounding Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Look out for work on. <sighs> So we have the Empress here, Libra Taurus. Eight of Cups. Could be a situation that you're walking away from things that are no longer serving you emotionally here. You could be walking away from someone, you know, that you're romantically connected to because I feel like things are not really moving forward or that things are not changing here. Interestingly enough, this Eight of Cups in this deck, it says stagnation on the bottom of the deck, uh, bottom of the card here. So it, it could be that you're dealing with a romantic situation that someone here is not emotionally invested into you and I feel like it, this connection could have been stagnated here or that it's not moving forward. Uh, the uh, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Strength card here, Leo Energy. We have the Nine of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like also things are stagnating because I feel like this person's trauma and pain are coming up to the surface here. And I feel like this person is using you as kind of like an emotional dumping ground here, okay? I feel like you've been really generous with this person. I feel like you've been really patient with this person, but I feel like you sort of like have had it with this person and you feel like you're walking away. Six of Pentacles. The uh, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Nine of Wands and Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy here. I feel like you're definitely finding some sort of closure in the, some, in, in the situation here that you're dealing with here, uh, Pisces. You're being guided to walk away from the, these individuals here or this individual. It seems like there's two masculines here that you're walking away from here. Strength. Six of Swords. I feel like you couldn't be more clear about it. Seems like you guys could have been having dreams about this here. Okay, or that you guys are finding clarity through your dreams about these situations that you're dealing with with these individuals here. The uh, King of Pentacles here and the Emperor, Aries energy. Eight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. The Empress and the Ace of Cups. There could be, there's new love coming into your life here. You know, as soon as you walk away from this individual here, I feel like you're setting yourself up for your soulmate to come in. I feel like the soulmate is not going to come in immediately. I do feel like this person will be in your orbit. And once you do the work to clear out these individuals, to heal from these individuals, because I feel like you're getting nothing out of them, I feel like that's when your soulmate will come in. Okay, so I feel like it's important for you to be good on your own, to heal, to learn from your past lessons in order for this to happen here. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on for the uh, first half of their April from the 1st to the 15th for Pisces? 
four of pentacles. Could be a situation that you guys could be dealing with, uh, you know, some financial issues here, okay? I do feel like some of you guys could be holding, you know, a higher power, a deity that you believe in really close to your heart at this time here. And they feel like you guys are feeling very safe. Some of you guys could be, like I said, yeah, you, you guys could be connecting to a higher power here, connecting to your guides here at this time, being guided by them, you know, uh, or being supported by them here. With the Hierophant, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Eight of Swords, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be letting go of fear. Yeah, I also feel like, uh, Pisces, some of you guys are definitely in your head a lot. And I feel like it's definitely interfering with your balance, your peace your happiness, your prosperity here. So it's easier said than done. Try not to worry about it. And try to be in the moment in enjoying these things that are coming in for you here. That's the most important thing here. Okay, so let's see. The Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. Four plus five is nine, the higher fit here and the sun. Yeah, some of you guys are going through like a huge spiritual awakening. Perhaps a strong realization here too, that there's more to life than worrying about something that might not even happen here. The Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands, things are going really well. So I'm not really quite sure what you're worried about here. Maybe you are innately a worry word here, which um, there's nothing wrong with that. But you also have to be really self-aware of why you're worrying or is it worth worrying, you know? Um, but, you know, I do feel like things are going really well for you guys. Tell me about temperance here. Why is temperance here in the Ace of Wands? Eight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you no longer are wasting your time on grief, on pain, on hurt here. And I feel like all you want to do is to learn from it, you know, and move on and evolve and grow from it and level up here. So yeah, I do see that there is some sort of spiritual awakening that's happening here. I do feel like as soon as you let go of some things that, or walk away from things that are not serving you here, I do feel like things are gonna start opening up for you here. Okay, or that your wish fulfillment or that your wish, yeah, your wish fulfillments will be coming in. All right, such as the soulmate that you're meeting here, you know, such as this awakening that's coming in for you guys. Okay, this, you know, I, I feel like things are about to really sort of like stabilize and really balance out for you. And I feel like as you go through this journey, as you go through this process here, I feel like it's important for you to be patient. Okay. So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.